Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the opening game of round two of the Mad Dragon Six Nations 2024 water game we have in store for us today. Scotland versus France. Now, as the round stands at the end of round one, Scotland and France both find themselves in joint first place, both with their one win last week and four points on the cards. Nothing to separate them in terms of points or points difference for and against. So both of these teams go into this round as the leading contenders for the Six Nations. They know it is all to play for. We'll have to see who will be able to come out on top today to take that definitive top spot as Finn Russell gets us kicked off and underway in Murrayfield. Oh, as they go on the break through Malvaca and the hooker position, but we know the speed that he does have to run on that wing as good as any other winger on this field, to be fair. Maxime Lucu, of course, filling in with that empty-shaped hole of Antoine Dupont, but Matt Ferguson getting an absolute massive high tackle there on Charles Olivon. We hope he's okay. It was a rough old tackle. The referee said it's going for bunker review, and that is not something Scotland would want to see this early on into the game to already be down a man but grant gilchrist will come to their rescue to be able to steal a line up there as ali price tries to run them out of trouble of course left out of the team last week but this time has his opportunity but loses the ball and suddenly france are on the charge with an extra man missing a forward now our scotland they have to try and organize their defense well wrapped up there is gal fiku because if he got this ball out to labelle we know the danger that he poses out here and kyle stain drives him into touch to try and bring scotland a little bit of relief what an exciting opening 10 minutes we've had to this game already Scotland's first line out of the day then stolen by France both teams struggling at the set piece so far let's see what France can do with this opportunity that has arisen there as Gal Ficou gets it out to Damien Pinot we know the threat this boy offers can he get all the way to the line and does all oh, that extra man punishing Scotland already somebody needed to shut him down and France will be the first ones onto the scoreboard spreading this one out wide Jalibert got wrapped up there and Scotland just felt a little bit bunched. Lukou picking out Fiku well on that outside wing and Damien Pinot running on the outside of Duan van der Merwe just couldn't catch him. Blair Kinghorn really has to do better from that. And the first try goes to France and making that yellow card feel a little bit more punishing as Matteo Jalibert steps up now for this opening conversion. Let's see how he's going to get on today. Of course, they also have Ramos in that fullback position to take the kicking, but Jalibert taking it today and slots it through the middle to take France out to 7-0. Still with some time left on the clock of this yellow card as well as Finn Russell gets us kicked off once again. This time recovered by Sam Johnson, but let go after being tackled as well. The handling from Scotland today not been great. We've seen that ball dropped a couple of times after the tackle coming in. Pano, the try scorer, getting wrapped up this time. Scotland not able to make the most of it, although they are competing hard. As Schumann, can he get it out to Duhan van der Merwe? Running down this wing, well picked up though by Ramos on the volley, uh, but unfortunately getting driven back into touch, and that will allow Matt Ferguson to come back on so Scotland will be back up to their full contingency as France by the dummy jumper at the liner Ali Price nearly getting caught short there at the line out Sam Johnson oh again the ball going loose out of his hands in that tackle and it will be punishing Scotland to not be able to build some attack together as LaBelle gets taken down by Sam Skinner out on this wing big looping pass nearly intercepted and France once again through this offload play are away into the Scotland half and still going as Cam Wargie now getting an offload to Charles Olivon still on the field after that massive hit so early on into this game Scotland suddenly pinned all the way back on their own try line Duan van der Merwe just wants to clear the lines keeps the ball in play though was that the right move as Ramos goes on the counter charge Ali Price trying to line up his opposite number there but they spread it out wide oh might be a little bit isolated out there who's with him not enough French players to back him up and suddenly they think they see room out here once again for Duhan van der Merwe to try and run it around the outside oh Pino, but Ramos with an unbelievable one-on-one -on -one tackle helps France survive that next attack as they go for a line out slap back by Scotland they do get there Finn Russell 
Thinks there's room in that backfield. Tries to pin it back. Look at this bounce. Going to put France all the way back towards their five meter line. Just saw that gap opening up. And suddenly Scotland in with a very good opportunity to punish France. And they get that ball out as Josh Bayless now goes on the charge. Great tackle there by the French defenders to not let him through. Can Finn Russell find that offload? Jamie Ritchie all gave the pass. Being selfless maybe didn't need to happen. But Sam Johnson manages to crash over if they hadn't got over for that try. What a punishing thing that would have been for Scotland. I think Jamie Ritchie was already over, but good good move to just not be selfless about. Look at that tackle from Jalibert to hold up the big man. Great work here, getting that offload, got it to Schoeman. I think Jamie Ritchie could have run that one under the post, decided to give it to Sam Johnson and made his life very, very difficult for him. Did well to get past the two defenders. And Finn Russell now with the opportunity to draw Scotland level in a game they haven't felt in charge of from the majority so far. Can he slot this one over? And does. Half hour on the clock. Seven all a piece. Very, very exciting stuff as Jalibert will get us kicked off. All the ball allowed to bounce. And Jamie Ritchie struggling to hold onto it there. Still slipping out of his hands. Scotland will just want to try and get a clean exit out of here as Cal Stain sets up to clear out of their 22. Ramos on that counter-attack, which he's been doing well today. Actually gets the offload, though, to LaBelle, but driven again once into touch. We did see LaBelle come off last week for Morfana just at that half-time marker, maybe not getting the performance the French coaches would want to be seeing. Maybe we'll be seeing something similar this week as Sam Johnson again trying to sigh through those players, but France get the turnover. They've been very good in the breakdown so far today, really punishing Scotland for not supporting their man. Now, what can they do with it? Sirbai on the charge that time, not getting anywhere. Grant Gilchrist wrapping his player up there on the halfway line. They managed to get to a mall. Can they secure it, try and drop it to ground? Maybe get the turnover here, but France seem to be marching forwards. The referee letting them play on. They managed to recycle the ball as they get it out. But a good tackle, though, coming in by Schumann, who's had a good defensive game to end today. Good tackle there again from Finn Russell. Oh, Antonio has to ship that ball out wide. Sam Skinner finds himself on the wing and intercepts like a professional winger out there. Great move by him to try and get the turnover. Not managed to be held, though. France getting a little bit choppy as we get towards the end of this first half. Jonathan Darcy just wants to clear it. I don't think he's caught that one right because uh, not going to find touch from there. And Kyle Stain tries to run diagonally across the pitch and suddenly it might open up as you and Ashwin. Oh, couldn't get that pass out to Duhan van der Merwe. Wanted to punish them. Can he go now? He does. Down this wing. Gets the grubber kick around. It's a foot race back. Will Ramos be able to get back? Duhan van der Merwe just trying to aim for the corner. Oh, manages to get there. Superb run. Oh, sorry. It was LaBelle trying to get back for that tackle had to run the width of the pitch to get back here just sure that uh, that little blind side up the wing Damien Pinot slightly out of position after making the original tackle Ramos probably should have done a little bit better to shut that one down Fiku Ramos and LaBelle getting back but we know the pace that Duhan van der Merwe has and nearly actually got tackled on that try line and Finn Russell will have the opportunity to maybe take Scotland in at half time seven points in the clear let's see how he gets on in this kick oh off the post so the scoreline will remain 12 points to 7 at half time Wow, what an exhilarating first half this one has turned out to be. Scotland versus France was always going to be a massive game in Murrayfield. Not helped by the fact that going into this game, both teams sat at the top of the table. Both teams need a big performance in this one. But one thing the Scotland coaches wouldn't have been expecting was a yellow card so early on in this game. Going in for Matt Ferguson with the high shot on Charles Olivon was mitigated down to a yellow card, but the punishment did come in the form of Damien Pinot scoring the first try of this game for France, making the most of that man advantage, shipping it out wide, no one to cover him, and a great run over into the corner, converted over by Jalibert, and it took some time for Scotland to really find their feet in this game. They have been pinned back in their own half for a lot of it, but they have been able to get over for a couple of tries, starting out with a very well-weighted kick by 
by Finn Russell justifying that territory in the backfield, allowing them to have the line-out opportunity. The ball shipping out towards the midfield. Should Jamie Ritchie have taken it? He may be thinking so on the review, but well worked by Sam Johnson to break over two players in order to get over for the try. And the second one coming just on the edge of half-time. Duham van der Merwe with a piece of solo ingenuity, seeing the blind side open down on the wing, managing to get around a Damien Pinot slightly out of position, a grubber kick by Thomas Ramos and managing to outrun LaBelle to get over for his try. Unfortunately, the conversion's only one from Finn Russell today. The second one hitting the post means that Scotland only in at halftime. Five points in the lead and everything is still to play for. On to the second half then, and there have been some switches at halftime in the Scotland camp. Chris Harris has come on for Sam Johnson, and George Horn has come on for Ali Price. I'm guessing they weren't too happy with the performance in terms of the handling from Sam Johnson, even though he did manage to score that try, and they want to shake it up in that scrum half position as well, just to try and add a little bit more pace off the back of those rucks as Grant Gilchrist gets out to new boy Chris Harris with great hands to get it on to Duhan van der Merwe. Oh, who's just going to outrun Tomo Ramos. France have been caught napping at the start of this second half. And the try scorer at the end of the first half will have his second in the start of the second half. What an unbelievable run by the winger here. Great work. And this is maybe why Chris Harris has been brought on. Look at the solid handling there just to get that little pop pass off. Tomo Ramos slightly out of position. And you know Duhan van der Merwe will always punish you for that. He's going to run out, run all of those players and get towards the post. Jalibert manages to get the tackle and suddenly Scotland, after an opening 20 minutes that you have to say didn't look like it was going their way at all, suddenly looked like the dominant team and France are looking slightly flustered in this game. And Finn Russell will convert that one over and take Scotland out to a 12-point lead and suddenly... It's all looking like it might be coming up a Scotland way today as Finn Russell now goes for the up and under. Got the win behind them slightly. And Hugh Jones manages to collect. Let's see where they can go from here. Oh, the ball left a little bit loose. Oh, and Grant Gilchrist now dropping the ball. We have seen it today. The handling, maybe it is a little bit damp down there. It's a lovely sunny day, but there has been a couple of issues in terms of the handling. Finn Russell does well, though, too. Managed to get a nice interception there. George Horn, lovely little interlinking play there with his hooker to play together. Let's see what they can do, because Kyle Stade is out here on his own. Sees some room in that backfield and gets the kick over the top. Ramos has to go on the counter-offensive. No, he goes for the clearance kick. Where is Kinghorn? Manages to get it. We're into a bit of kicking tennis now. Kinghorn tries. Trying to punish that backfield. And Kyle Stain is herring up for this one. Charging after. Oh, and it's a superb tackle. Sorry, it was Finn Russell on the counter-attack. Great run by him to chase him down. And very suddenly, France find themselves out in this backfield. Not managing to do a lot, but great steal off the back of the lineup by Jalibert as Maxime Lucou goes for a clearance kick and they just seem to be the only option at the minute is to just try and kick that ball out of their own half they might want to keep it in their hands a little bit Finn Russell tries to pick that pass through the hole doesn't manage to find it as Grant Gilchrist gets wrapped up George Horn you can already tell the pace that has come in from this new scrum half being added to the game as Chris Harris oh doesn't manage to outrun Jonathan Dance who had a great position there to shut him down. They go out. Hugh Jones thinks he sees room out on this wing for Kyle Stain. Gets the collection. Doesn't manage to take it any further though. And George Horn. Oh, I mean, referee might want to have a look at that. I absolutely believe there was an offside tackle there coming in. I think that was the flanker being completely offside in that tackle. But the referee seems to have not given it. We'll have to see if the TMO brings it back. And suddenly France are on the offensive now. Back up into the Scotland half. And Damien Bonneau bouncing through tacklers. Scotland shape looking all over the place. They maybe weren't ready for that to go against them. And Dylan Cretin gives a forward pass. Unfortunately, shutting that down at that attack. But you have to say, maybe fair, given the fact I think it actually was Dylan Cretin that uh, actually had that offside tackle at the ruck. I cannot believe... The referee has let that one go, but they play on nonetheless with a Scotland scrub. And what pace has been added to this team with George Horn coming into this side? Now, as George Horn once again sees room in that backfield and gets a nice kick that does find grass. Unfortunately, the bounce trim not the best. And now they'll see if France can go on the charge. They did have a man out on this wing, but they decided to back with some other forwards. They played it back inside as they go to Kyle Stain once again trying to punish 
this backfield as Ramos is having his day tested now. How well can he cover this backfield as the Scotland kicking is adding a lot of pressure. Maxime Lucou this time wants to kick France back up. Blair Kinghorn thinks he sees room in that backfield. Can he get the bounce? The 50-22 is on. Oh, unfortunately, the bounce of a rugby ball just going against him once again. has been a lot of kicking tennis today. Blair Kinghorn once again trying to find that room in the backfield out to Ramos this time oh as it gets kicked into his own player and Finn Russell picks up the loose ball this game might have actually just slipped away from France now as Kyle Stain puts them up towards the 22 can they go quickly Sam Skinner wants one more offload to Jamie Ritchie he gave the pass last time oh not this time wanted to go himself didn't manage to get there we can see out on the wing it's a bounce pass out to Chris Harris who gives it to Duan van der Merwe to get a hat-trick oh what an unbelievable piece of play by Scotland just to punish a France team that seems to be in disarray in this second half after what was such a solid opening 20 minutes for them. It's all fallen away. Look at this by Jamie Ritchie hitting that gap. No one with him. Wasn't even looking for the pass that time. Great tackle by Ramos to shut him down. Was a definite try coming in there. And who else to give this pass once again? Coming in here. Bang. Look at that offload. George Horn. That is why he was added into this team and gets that pass away. Out to Duhan van der Merwe to go over for a hat-trick. And you have to say this game is now done. There's still three minutes on the clock. They will still play on. But for all intents and purposes, Scotland have done what they needed to do today. Finn Russell missing yet another kick, unfortunately. Yeah, he's not happy with that. He's not going to be happy with his kicking today towards the post. But in terms of his outfield kicking, has been very, very good today. Can Scotland take something away from this game in terms of a little bit of pride? Maybe get one more score on the board as they go for an up and under. Blair Kingle not very happy with that kick. You can see him walking off there. Not very happy with that decision as France go on the charge. Gael Ficou now. Can France take something? They go the other way. I don't think Scotland were ready for this. They actually have numbers out on this wing. The ball goes down. Oh, the Scotland players calling for the referee to say knock on there doesn't come. And now they have to get back into defensive mode. I think they thought the game was over. That ball to me definitely looked forwards. Jalibert just standing still. He doesn't know what to do either. France have just looked so out of shape in this second half. And now, what can Gael Ficou do? Trying to use a bit of leadership to get them on the front foot as they go out to Lebel. Breaks through. One tackle though. Oh, and slips through another one. Can they hold him up? Well, Matthias Lebel coming in. Right at the end of this game, I mean, you'll have to go back and look at that knock-on for yourselves. I think there was a knock-on earlier in this phase. But Gael Ficou breaking through the tackle there, shut down by Xander Fagerson. Doing well to get out here and really need to do better here. Kyle Stain. Oh, maybe a bit of miscommunication between the players. Blair Kinghorn as well. Had to get that tackle. Xander Fagerson did well to get back for another tackle. But outstretched. One more try going in for Lebel for this French team. It isn't going to be enough, though to steal this game back or even come away with a losing bonus point even if Jalibert gets it over it's all for points difference now and he does manage to succeed in getting that kick over but it is Scotland who take the day it is Scotland who will take the top of the leaderboard in first place in France you can see unhappy with how that game went that second half for them just not where they wanted to be in terms of the overall performance Scotland will be very happy Murrayfield is bouncing at the minute and Scotland suddenly looking potentially to be favorites as we go on in this Six Nations I hope you've all enjoyed this one today guys do you think this could be a realistic score we'll see in the actual game this weekend or will France be able to take this one let me know down in the comments and also who deserves player of the match in your eyes I'll see you all next time guys bye bye